uh, there's a nice example in the lecture notes about making records. And this was the story in the beginning. Um, so assume that there's an each year, we, we, we measure time in years, in year N. We assume that uh, the, <clears throat> the winner scores is some random variable Xn. We assume that the scores are independent mutually. So we don't assume any correlation between previous year and next year. That's maybe a little bit unrealistic, but anyway, we, we assume it now. We assume that these scores are identically distributed. So let's say if we, we assume that there's no development of new um, medication, for example, for the athletes that makes them perform better. We assume that they are kind of standard, uh, behaving identically distributed manner. We also assume that the Xn is a, has a continuous cumulative distribution function. So if we measure, for example, skiing, so we measure time using a continuous, uh, very precise measurement. So then we could look at this event. What's the, the event means that uh, on year N, the score is better than any of the previous year co years um, scores. So that means that um, it is the event that, um, that the record happens um, on year N. With this setup, actually, it's possible it's possible to prove that uh, the probability of record happening is one over n. It's also possible to prove that these are independent. That's these are not super simple. You need to do a bit of thinking, but uh, it's possible to prove that uh, the event that okay on a third year a record happens, it's independent of whether or not there was a record in the previous year. That sounds a bit counterintuitive, but with these assumptions, it's, it's correct. You can also prove that the probability of having a record on year n is uh, the probability is one over n. So this probability gets smaller and smaller. It gets more unlikely to make a record when time goes on. Then what? What is the sum of these probabilities of record making? So we may calculate this sum. And we know that it's the sum of the harmonic series. And we know that the harmonic series, if you sum this up to infinity, that sum is infinite. That means that um, these probabilities go to zero rather slowly. So it means that um, the conclusion is that the probability of having recourse occur over time infinitely often is one. So in the long run, when you wait and wait, you will see every now and then you will see record being records being made forever. The interval between records gets longer and longer, but the records keep on coming every now and then. And that's the result here. So also for climate change, if you if you assume that the climate would be stable, there's no climate change, then anyway. The kind of world records in uh, climate would keep on occurring every now and then forever with this theory. Final thing is about consecutive records. So we could also study the probability that we make uh, two records in a row. So let's say F in is the event that uh, there's a record on year N and the second year also. So we could look, okay, how often we would see events that there is uh, two years in a row that in both years a record happens. If you now compute things, you need to take a bit of time. And, but if you do, you can calculate that the probability of having a record on year N and the next year, it's uh, one over N times N plus one. This sum is of the, uh, this is of the order one over N square. And if you look at this sum of these events, so that's uh, this gives you a finite sum. So here, okay, this is not working with this PDF, but then this uh, sum of the Fn probabilities becomes finite. And there the conclusion is that um, the probability of seeing consecutive records infinitely often occurring is zero. So thinking again, for example, about climate change, assuming that the climate is stable, you can be sure that these kind of 
double records on consecutive years, they are not occurring. They only occur a finitely many times and then they stop occurring. And um, this is the message from this example and what we can learn from Borel-Cantelli lemmas. <laughs>